Hey guys, Frontwoods Farmer, welcome back to the channel. Today I got a few finds that we found at the Portersville Steam Show. This is the like the spring show. It's not the summer show. It's not normally a big turnout. Uh, there was a guy, he's there pretty much every year, and uh, he sold me a couple hit and miss engines. We got some good deals on some oilers and uh, a few other things. I'll flip the camera around here in a second and show you everything we got. If you don't ever been to Portersville Steam Show, Google it. It's Portersville, PA. It's not a huge show. It's not by any means. But if you enjoy the hit and miss engines and like all the antiques and stuff, they have a little flea market every time. And it's worth going to. They have a tractor pull sometimes. It's a nice local show if you're close. If you're not close, don't get too excited. It's a great show, but it's not as big as some of the other shows. You're still going to have fun, but it's not the biggest show. You're gonna find things though that you're not gonna find at every other show. Uh, let me flip this camera around again. I, I, sorry about the mess in the barn. We got turkeys as you can hear, 200 and some chickens, uh, peeps we raised, uh, a bunch of things we're doing this year like always. And if you like that kind of thing, subscribe to my channel and then hit that bell notification. That way you get the new videos. You don't have to watch them, but you'll get an alert when they come up. Does Miss Remy go to see what's going on in the barn, huh? And she's, okay. We know, Remy. All right, so what we got here is some Fairbanks motors, all right? Oh, lights just went out. As you guys can see, the lights are back on. So now I'm going to flip around the camera and show you what we got at Portersville. All right, hopefully the lights don't go out again. We got two Fairbanks Morse Z motors. The horse and a half, 500 RPM. They're not a true hit and miss you would say, uh, I forget what constituted as a hit and miss versus the non hit and miss. Uh, but I wanted to show you a little bit about them. I got these old oilers. Now I'm going to give you prices, something that I don't always do. And I want to do that because I want you guys to see that you don't have to find the biggest locked up piece of junk. And when all the people are like, hey, that thing's worth six, seven hundred dollars and this. No, people can afford to still get into this if you look around. And I've been looking for years, and I ain't going to jump on everything that's, you know, missing parts, needs countless work that you're never going to do. And uh, I found a couple engines that are in my uh, skill set, I should say. But first, get you a couple looks at these Eagle oil cans. And these things are hot right now on eBay, and I've been collecting them for a long time. And you can't seem to get them because, of course, eBay driven up the price. So what do we do? We wait. And today, what's this one? Mm, Pittsburgh gem it's a gem a little local history there <clears throat> but I got all these oilers for a dollar a piece they're selling between 10 and 20 probably on eBay antique shops and what have you drove all the prices up so getting back to the story on this Fairbank Z the guy bought them in a pair set he goes to Cool Spring PA which is I think the country's largest hit and miss engine museum uh, uh he told me I have over 500 motors at Cool Spring, but you go ahead looking on YouTube and you go to Cool Spring and type that in. Uh, it's Cool Spring PA Steam Show. The museum said they had, I think, 300 engines with over 150, I think, running or something in that number. So I don't know if he's maybe the uh, engine count went up or not, but yeah, either way, I. Even if it's 200 engines, you know, that's a lot. So it's between three and five is what I can tell you for sure. And uh, he went up there and he bought this engine, he bought that engine, and then I guess he was going back like we all do. And what he did is, because these are the same engine, he thought, well, I want two. And he never got around to fixing this one. They're both freed up. This one even had like a radiator, I think, with this fan. I never seen that. I'm going to try to keep that with it. Uh, probably have to pull it off to fix it all and paint it and clean it up but that's the least of the worries for this one yeah he bought all these parts one at a time he's seen what this one had and he said okay i'm looking for this part because he knew it went there you know so he didn't i don't think he really knew much about these and he taught himself by buying each part based off the back one uh both of these engines have the uh the gas tank in them which is kind of rare sure they need work in the bases so you could run something off them when you're looking at these it's another price point you know uh, most people just have this this has the uh he called it something like a hot plate or something like that 
both have tanks, you know. Had this one plumbed in the carburetor here just to get it running. They call this a, I forget what he called this, like a hot shot or something. And what they people do is they run it off a battery so you don't need a magneto. But he has everything here, all the bracketry for both of them for the mags. And I may have a mag or two laying around that I can adapt to it. Uh, what else do I want to say? They're both freed up. Take a guess what I paid for these engines. So I'll tell you right now, he made me a heck of a deal. He gave me both engines, the parts he hunted down for 400. That's 200 dollars a piece. And this one, he said, pretty much is ready to go and it'll run. So you figure you get a running engine for 200 dollars. It was a unbelievable. Deal. The bases and the tanks are worth that piece. But there are still good, great deals out there. You gotta hunt them down. This guy was a no-nonsense guy that he didn't want to budge off price. He said, that's the lowest I'll go. It was uh, $225 and $350. So that's what, uh, five, uh, $575. He was asking, I think, $350 and $250, so $600. All day I was on him. I said, come on, you know, give, give a guy another chance like someone probably give you to get into this at, at my age, you know. Thought about it and. And that's what he did. He gave me and my kid a real good deal, and we're going to enjoy them. And all he asked is us to get them running and bring them back up to the show, you know, so our local show keeps newcomers coming and engines there. That's what we're going to do. These both cleaned up. I'll obviously probably start on this. This one here is in much better shape, so I'll probably, you know, start on that. I don't know where I'm going to start. Probably trying to find a magneto setup for it because I, I don't like this. This wasn't original. I, I don't like that. I uh, research them a little bit online, you know, Fairbanks. Right there's a tag. Oilers here. And he even did give me the oiler for this one going down here. The little oiler that sits on top. It's not a Lukenheimer brass oiler. It's like some kind of knockoff. I don't think it's worth much, but it was nice of them. But they're all, everything's, this one even has a crank sh uh, shroud here, a little shield where you don't get chewed up on it, you know, something might would happen. Uh, the repair job we're gonna do, uh, this head, he said, is a good head. It has a crack. I'm trying to do this with one hand, guys. It's probably right on, yep, right under my hand. You guys see that, it's all cracked. And I'm thinking that's from, I don't think it's from water. I guess that might be from somebody dropping this. I mean, all these parts are cast. So I'll probably braise that, you know. Braise it, you could weld it, but I like the, you know, the brazing I think is a little bit uh, safer doing that cast. But Frontwoods Farmer, guys, we're out of here. I uh, showed you the engines. The cart did not come with it. The cart I, I picked a while ago at a buddy of mine's estate, his late brother's. Real nice steel cart, though. But we're out. I'm going to go get some dinner. It's getting late. It's a Sunday evening. Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Uh, if you want to see more on the hit and miss engines, we have another one. I don't know. I don't know. I think I did. A, I don't think I did any uh, show on that yet, any uh, videos. But we're out of here, guys. Have a good night.